So I'm sure you heard of the story of Aiden Fucci, who has pled guilty to stabbing and killing a schoolmate named Tristan Bailey in Jacksonville, Florida. But it was what came out in court recently that is the most surprising. A psychologist admitted that Aiden loves to watch gore and horror. In fact, he was caught with this notebook of his drawings. They admitted in court they're not sure if he was the one that drew this, but it was found in his notebook on his table. And you can see on the right, you see him with a satanic pentagram on his forehead, smiling as he's holding a knife. And it looks like he's standing in a pool of blood. You see on the left side, you see a young girl who's crying, who has devil horns and has a third eye. And you can see crows all around her as she's hanging from a tree. I mean, this kid is twisted. He has admitted to his friends that he was planning to kill someone. And we understand here on this channel how real the spiritual realm is that demons can literally enter into people while watching horror movies, while playing violent video games. Those demons of anger and rage literally enter them, especially if they have an open door. And so psychologist Gregory Pritchard, who was just on the stand, he was rehashing what Fucci's girlfriend reported. She said that the two of them enjoyed horror movies and that Fucci often talked about killing someone and would pretend to cut her throat. She also talked about him being violent and beating up a boy over a vape pen. It's always like the first sign when they're violent because by the way, that spirit of anger is the same spirit of murder in the Bible. Another very detailed response was that he thought it would be satisfying to slit someone's throat and watch the blood drain out. Now, we know this is not normal, and I'm not sure why his young friends did not take it seriously enough to tell their parents and his parents, because this isn't normal to fantasize and talk about how satisfying it would be to kill someone and watch the blood drain out. This is clearly a twisted boy, and it's clearly a demon talking about being satisfied with murdering someone. He even warned her to expect him to kill somebody that month, she said. And sure enough, by the way, he did. It seems like he rehearsed it in his head, Pritchard noted, calling it not an impetuous act, but planned. Fucci even made the comment to his girlfriend that if he does it, it will be planned. So clearly this young boy planned to murder somebody, wasn't sure who, and ended up attacking this young girl, Tristan Bailey, and left her for dead in the middle of the woods. Watch this psychologist go through the psychology of a young boy who is clearly demon-possessed and what he told his friends and girlfriend. Aiden Fucci had been dating since January of February of 2021, so, so multiple months, spent a lot of time together. Um, Ms. Bowman described that she and Mr. Fucci and some other peers, they were kind of into what she described as gore, um, what she described as horror, H-O-R-R-O-R. -R -R. So they like to watch horror movies. Um, they like to watch gore, gory horror movies. So she commented about that. She also characterized that, that they all had what she described as dark humor. Okay, so, so that was part of the context where she disclosed some of this information. Um, she said that she and Mr. Fucci talked a lot about things they saw on these horror shows and gory movies that a lot of times they would discuss death and killing in the context of these types of movies, okay? Um, but she, she, she went beyond that a bit, and she also described that um, her words were, were that Mr. Fucci talked about death and killing a lot, okay? Now, he talked about death and killing a lot. She gave a couple of ex examples when uh, Mr. Fucci got really mad at her because she sent a picture of her in a photo with another guy that happened to be her sister's boyfriend or friend that was a boy. And she said that Mr. Fucci got extremely upset about this and his reaction was to say he was going to kill that boy. She also gave an example of... Uh, 
Zoffy Bowman asking Mr. Fucci, would you like to hang out with me and a couple of my guy friends? And she said that Mr. Uh, Fucci's response to that was to talk about how he was going to kill those two guy friends. So this is important because there was a lot of this killing and death talk from Mr. Fucci that, that's unusual. Um, and, and it was it was occurring outside of just the context of talking about gory movies, right? Uh, sometimes that was the context. Other times it wasn't, mm -hmm. like the example of him saying he was going to kill these boys that, that she was around. In that same theme, she talked about uh, her words were um, that Mr. Fucci talked about wanting to kill her and that he would sometimes do things to her like take his knife out and pretend to stab her or walk up behind her and pretend to slit her throat. Now she indicated she wasn't scared of this. She, she wasn't scared of Mr. Fucci because she trusted him um, with regard to those specific acts. But, but it was interesting that he would make the comment that he wanted to kill his girlfriend, Zoffy Bowman. She took it as kind of a joke and is not serious. Um, she also made a, a, a similar comment that I thought was significant, that <coughs> Zoffy Bowman said, that's basically why Mr. Fucci no longer stayed at my house because he talked about how easy it would be to kill me when I slept. So you see, this is, this is going beyond just kind of this talk about gory movies. It's, I'm not sleeping at your house because you would be really easy to kill while you're sleeping. A, a really, really peculiar, um, unusual, rare kind of comment repeatedly made to, uh, one of Mr. Fucci's closest friends. Zoffy Bowman recalled Aiden Fucci telling her that um, basically asking, what would you do if I really killed somebody? And, and then following that up with, uh, expect me to kill somebody um, within this month. Okay? And when, when talking about how he would kill, so, so really it's extensive. It's not just a remark here and there. It seemed to be a real fascination of his. Um, when he talked about killing somebody, he even told Zoffy Bowman how he would do it. And what he told her was, I would walk around at night and I would find somebody else walking at night. I would drag them in the woods and I would stab them and then I would pretend like I didn't do it uh, so that I could keep killing people out. She even said that she believed he was just talking about a fantasy. But even so, fantasy is a rehearsal. Often it's a rehearsal of what we want to do or what we're interested in. Um, so, so there seemed to be a, a lot of that going on. Wow. Be careful what you let your kids watch and which video games you're allowing them to play. Because it first starts with just a movie. Then you have a fascination with the evil side. Then you want to rehearse it and practice it on your friends, right? Pretending to slit their throat. And then it leads to actual murder. This is not a joke. So please share this video with a parent that you know to warn them and their children how real the spiritual realm is. The Bible says that the enemy prowls around like a roaring lion trying to see who he can devour. And sadly, he devoured this young 14-year-old boy and in the process, a young girl as well. So please share this video with the parent that you know to warn them how real the spiritual realm is and to be careful with what their kids listen to and watch.